Hello everyone, you are welcome once again to our full learning English and today we continue on our series of how students can easily and confidently attempt questions relating to speech sounds in WAG, NECO, GC, as well as JAM. In my previous video, I've spoken and I've talked about how students can identify different speech sounds like consonant sounds and vowel sounds but today we continue on the same series and today we are looking at something a bit different though it relates a whole lot to what we have discussed before so here today we are looking at how students can identify different and various phonetic symbols and how they can correctly and easily identify words that reflect all of these phonetic symbols in WAIC, GC, NECO, as well as UTM exams. So I hope you find this interesting as well as educative. So let's get started. In this section of a test of horrors, students' ability will be examined on all the 44 distinctive speech sounds. These speech sounds are represented by different phonetic symbols. And I repeat that they are represented by different phonetic symbols. So in this kind of question, this kind of question is on section seven on test of horrors in WAEC, the last set of questions, okay? And we have different phonetic symbols. In this particular section, we have symbols on, phonetic symbols on consonant sounds, as well as phonetic symbols on vowel sounds. And students will be given Option. So students are expected to pick the correct option that reflect the phonetic symbols. So we are looking at questions from 2017 to 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. From the words lettered A to D, choose the word that contains the sound, yes, the phonetic symbol or the speech sounds represented by the given phonetic symbols. E, E, here we are looking at the long E. So number one, we have option A. As you can see on the screen, we have E. Yes, it has that sound. But let's look at other options. Option B, we have busy, busy. Yes, this one contains short E and not the long E. But we are looking for the long E. So option B is definitely not the answer. Option C, we have tip. Yes, this is another short E. And this can be the answer. And option D, we have shaded. Shaded. Yes, we have another short E. So option B, C, D contain the short E. But we are looking for the long E. And the only option that has the long E is E. E. So the correct answer here is option A. Number two. Now the phonetic symbol here is pronounced as R. Yes, the long R. So let's look at the options. Option A, we have copy. Yes, this one contains the short R. But we're looking for the long R. Not short R. Option C, ball. Yes, this is already the answer. Yes, this is the answer. Now, words that end, words that end with O-R-E, like more, tall, the past tense of tear, as well as law, L-O-R-E, all contain the short the long, excuse me, all contain the long haul. So the correct answer here is ball. Option D, rock. So option D also contains short haul. So it's not the answer. So the correct answer here is option C, ball. Number three, also a vowel sound. So the first three questions so far are vowel sounds. Now this one is pronounced as er. Uh, and in my previous video, you can go check them up on our full learning on YouTube. My previous video, I said this particular sound, long R, uh, is often represented by combination of letters like I R or U R, often, but not all the time, but often represented by those two letter combinations, I R. So the option here, the answer here without wasting time is firm, firm. Because it has or contains the long R. Option B, many. No, this one has a, a plate. No. 
here no so the correct answer here is option a which is firm now number four we have now this is a consonant sound and students should not confuse this one with the um, vowel sound we just discussed yes this one they are absolutely different this is a vowel sound but this is a consonant sound and i repeat that this is a vowel sound while this one is a consonant sound and if this one is pronounced as shh, yes it's a palato alveolar fricative so let's take a look at the options option here we have pressure pressure no option b we have nurture nurture no option c we have treasure j, j, sh. yes this is absolutely the correct answer yes this is the correct answer treasure j, j. and the letter has here reflect this particular sound sh. option d we have champagne okay this is not the answer as well so the correct answer here is option c yes number five now students should not confuse this particular phonetic symbol with letter J. It's completely different from letter J. This particular consonant sound is a semi-vowel consonant sound, and it is pronounced as Y, y often represented by letter Y, or letter EU, or letter U, depending on the words. Okay, option here we have jump. No, we are looking at E, E, E. Option B, we have Dutch. No. Then option C, we have U, U, E, E. So option C is the correct answer. Option D, we have jelly. Now, students will be confused because they can relate, they can wrongly relate the letter J with this particular sound. Like I said earlier, they are two different entities. They are two different entities. That one is letter J, while this one is a consonant sound and it is pronounced as and the answer, like I said, is option C, U. Don't forget the golden rule. Always pronounce the options before you choose your answer. Very, very important because speech sounds to a far greater extent are different from letters in English language. Number six, we have N, N. So let's take a look at the options. Okay, option here we have thin, thin. Huh? Yes, no, this is not the answer. This is not the answer. Solemn, solemn. Letter N here is silent, okay? Students should also pay attention to silent letters, especially when it comes to consonant sounds. Solemn, which is why I said you must always pronounce the word before you choose your answer, okay? So option B, we have solemn, no. N here is silent. Option C, we have sank, mm -hmm. So forget about the letter you see. Pronounce the word. Anytime you see N, K, the letter N changes to mm -hmm. Okay, take note of that. And option D, we have student. Student. So the correct answer here is option D, student, because it's the only word that has the sound. Okay, so the answer is option D. Number seven. Yes, labiodental fricative. Option here, we have bow, bow. Okay, the GH in option A does not give us the sound. Okay, it's pronounced as bow. The letter GH, absolutely silent. Option B, we have tough. Tough. From the way I pronounced, option B is absolutely the answer. Yes, the correct answer. Option C, we have patent. No. Option D, we have brave. This is the voiced version of this. This is voiceless, but this one is voiced. So this is not the answer. The correct answer here is tough. Tough. Number eight. Is a dental fricative. It's often represented by letter TH, okay? But this is a voiceless dental fricative. While its counterpart is a voiced dental fricative. But here we're looking at the voiceless dental fricative. So let's take a look at the options. Option here we have teeth. Teeth, yes, this is close to the answer. Option B, we have clothes. No, this is not the answer. The TH here gives us the voiced version of the dental fricative. But we're looking at we are looking at the voiceless voiceless version okay then option c we have northern northern yes this is another voice the, the, not the, the. we are looking for the, 
Then option D, we have worthy. Worthy. Yes, this is not the answer as well. So option B, C, D gives us the voiced version. And we are looking for the voiceless version. And the only option that has the voiceless version of the dental fricative is option A, which is T. T. So option A is the correct answer. Number nine. Yes, we're looking at a diphthong here. A diphthong, which is pronounced as I. I. Okay, don't forget, diphthongs are vowel sounds that are regarded as one but two. Now, what do I mean by this? We have two vowel sounds but pronounced at the same time. So, two vowel sounds regarded as just one, which is why they are called diphthongs. Now, the DI here refers to two. So, when you pronounce a diphthong, what vowel sound glides into the other. Can I repeat that? One vowel sound glides into another. Okay, so here we're looking at I. Yes, we have A glides into E. So let's take a look at the options. Option A, we have eyes. Yes, this is the answer. Very simple. Don't forget to always pronounce the words, the options before you choose your answer. But let's look at the other options. Option B, we have face. No, this is A. No. Option C, we have drain. A as well. No, we are looking for I. Then option D, we have plane. No. The correct answer here is option A, which is I. Number 10, we are looking at another diphthong, air, air. Now, students should not confuse this particular diphthong with ear. This one is air, air, and it's often represented by A I R or A R E. A I R or A R E. So let's take a look at the options. Okay, option B here contains A R E. So the correct answer is spare, spare, air. Yes, this is the correct answer. But let's look at other options. Option A, we have there, there. Now this one contains just a single vowel sound. So it's not the answer. We're looking for a diphthong. Okay, fear, ear. Like I said earlier, don't confuse air with ear. This one contains ear and it's not the answer. Then we also have option B, near, near. This is also not the answer. The correct answer here is spare, spare. So we have come to the end of question from 2017. So without wasting time, let's go to questions on 2018. Number one, we have the short O. Yes, a vowel sound. Don't forget. We have the long O and the short O. Okay, so let's take a look at the options. Shoes, no. Tool, no. Book, book. Yes, this is the correct answer because it contains the short O. School, absolutely no. But the correct answer here is book, book. Other words that refer to the short O are good. W O O D or W O U L D should the past tense of shall would the past tense of will could the past tense of can all these words contain the short o sound as well as book so the correct answer here is book number two eh now like I said this is a front short front vowel sound and when you pronounce the sound the upper lip and the lower lip spread eh eh you can see eh, eh, and it's a short vowel sound. So the only option that has the sound here is says, says. Now, when you look at this word, when you remove the letter S inflection, the word is pronounced as say, say. But once you had the letter S in inflection, it becomes says, says. The letter S changes to S, while the A, Y here gives us what? Eh. So the correct answer here is says. Says. So whenever you pronounce this word, don't pronounce it as says. Absolutely wrong. The correct pronunciation is says. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at other options. Option here we have beer. No, this is a diphthong. We're looking for a monotone. Aisle. No, we're looking for a eh. raid. No, we're looking for a. Eh. So the correct answer here is says. Says. Number three, we are looking at the vowel sound. Long or. Oh, don't forget, we treated something like this in the last questions for 2017. So we're looking for long all. 
toy. You know, this is a diff tongue. We are looking for a monotone. Law. Oh, yes, this is the correct answer. Cut. Cut. No. Plow. No. No. The correct answer here is law. Law. Number four. B. This is a consonant sound. B. B. Okay. Don't forget for consonant sounds, we look at you are very you should be very careful of silent letters okay so pronounce the words before you choose your answers option a we have bago yes this one contains the sound bago option b doubt doubt that's a b silent option c subtle 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 option d is equally silent then lamb lamb option d is equally silent so the correct answer here is bago Bago. Number five, you have A. 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 This is a deep tone. Okay. The S sound glides into the E sound. So these kind of deep tones are called the E ending deep tones. Okay. So option A, we have alone. No. Greet. No. Eight. No. We are looking for A, not I. Then number four, option D, we have Nay. Nay. So the correct answer here is option D. Nay. Nay. Okay. Number six, we have ear. Okay. This is another diphthong, a vowel sound. This is another diphthong. And here we have the schwa ending diphthong. Okay. Schwa ending diphthong. Don't forget the schwa sound. The most frequently occurred vowel sound or sound in English language. And uh, it's also a weak vowel sound. It's a weak sound as well. Ear, ear, okay, dear. I guess this is the correct answer. Ear, okay. And I said you should not confuse this one with air, okay. Here we're looking for ear, words that contain ear. Option A, we have dear, so this is the correct answer. Option B, we have chair, air, no. Option C, we have night, no, I. No. Option D, we have rain. A. No. So the correct answer is dear. Number seven, we are looking for, yes, let's pronounce poor. Poor. This is another diphthong and another sure ending diphthong. Poor. As you can see, the short U glides into the sure sound. Poor. Choir. No. Chair. No. Poor. No. So let's look at option D. Pure. Poor. So the option D is the answer. Poor. Pure. 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 So we have poor. So option D is the correct answer. Number eight, we have the. the. We treated the voiceless deep, um, dental fricative earlier on in 2017 questions. Here we're looking at the voice version. I talked about the voiceless and the voice version we have and both of them are often represented by th that's a th both of them the one is voiceless but the other one is voiced so the only option that has the sound here is smooth smooth others contain the short um not the short i beg your pardon the voiceless dental fricative this one contains the t not even it's not a dental fricative okay this one's alveolar plosive Time. So forget about the TH. It's pronounced as T. Time. This one is P. No, this is not the answer. They pronounced. There's no vibration. This is voiceless. And we're looking for voiced. Smooth. Smooth. Yes, there's vibration. So option C is the answer. Then option D, we have thin. Thin. Okay. This is also voiceless. So this is not the answer. So the correct answer is option C. T. Number nine. You have na na okay like i said anytime you come across this be very careful of words that has nk nk gives us mm and not na okay so this is not the answer knock 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 okay letter k here is silent anywhere you see letter k and the letter k is always what silent and knock yes it is pronounced this is the correct answer option d in Okay, in. Whenever you have M, N, N is always what? Silent. Okay, 
And I repeat that. Whenever you have words that contain M, N, N is always silent. So this is silent when you pronounce the word in. The letter N is not pronounced, so it's not the answer. On, on. Most of the time when you have N, G as well, the letter N changes to N, just like you have it in anchor, on. Okay, so option D is not the answer as well. The correct answer here is knock, knock. So pay attention to the combination of letters like N, K, and N, G, M, N. Pay attention to them. Letter N is always silent, okay? So the correct answer is knock. Then finally, we are looking at ye, ye, ye. I said students should not confuse these particular consonant sounds with letter J. They are two different things, okay? And this one is pronounced as ye, ye. Q, yes, we can find it. Q. This is the correct answer. You know, we can also find it in words like D, that's me, N. E W or D E W, you can find it there as well. Quit, no, quit. It's not contained in this particular word. Judge, no, don't let this particular um, phonetic symbol confuse you. This is a yeast consonant sound, and this is G, G, judge, judge, no, chair, no, chair, chair, no, no. Correct answer is Q. Key. So, we've come to the end of today's questions and answers on phonetic symbols from questions from 2017 to 2018. And if you have enjoyed this video, you learned something, don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as the notification button so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget to also share with your friends, your children, your parents, your students as well as everybody around you. Let us learn together. Thanks for watching. Bye.